This tutorial will show how to create a lofted skin in geometric shape design. First, we need to import our airfoil into Katia. You can see the tutorial video on creating a rib that will demonstrate how to import air, uh, airfoil coordinates from Excel. Uh, once in Katia, we are going to work with the drawing of the canard in order to um, prop create the canard skin to the proper size. To see how to import the image, you can also view the rib creation tutorial. So once we have our airfoil in Katia, we need to create several instances to offset in the in the y direction, so parallel to the z x plane from the center, um, at the locations that the actual ribs would be. That way we can we can show how the skin would loft, as in how it would sag between the ribs. So going into the planes that we projected, or yes, that we projected off the, the center plane, we will project the image of the airfoil from the center rib onto the new planes. And we'll ass assign each of those a different color to keep them distinct. Now we will cut each of the airfoils along the Y, X plane, X, Y plane. Uh, we'll keep both sides and compute intersections, which will create points at each of at each of the locations where the airfoil is intersected with the plane. And again, do the same cut for the next airfoil. Keep both sides, compute intersections. close and again for our third spline. But this one we need to scale first um, because it will be a different size than the center root. It will be smaller. Eighty-eight and a half percent. Exit. And you can see how this lines up looking down. That's the right size. So we'll, we'll cut that plane again. Computer intersections keep both sides with the cutting with XY plane close. I'm looking at the top view. So I'm going to change the color of all the tops to red and all the bottoms to green so it's easier to identify them. And now we will create guidelines sketches along the leading and trailing edges between the center ribs following the contour that we see in the drawing. So, I guess theoretically it would be a hyperbole between the two points, but we will just use an arc for now. So, select a radius and then drag the next point over to about where it would be if the radius were correct and we were aligned properly. 
So we'll go ahead and constrain this point. Well, we need a coincidence constraint, not a fix. So something is Ari. We've in, so instead of computing intersections, um, we will put in the points manually. So click on point definition, then one of the curves, and we'll go to uh, next, the nearest extremity, press reverse direction if you need it to get to the other side, press OK. So we'll need to do that for the leading edge and trailing edge of each of our airfoil splines. We got the leading edge there. Okay. So now we should be able to create a coincidence constraint on the points. Yes, we are. Coincidence, okay. So click on one point, control click the other point, go over to coincidence, click OK. And now we will just need to change the radius so that it fits the contour shown in the drawing. So we'll need to eliminate some of these constraints that were automatically created. Change the radius. Create a, an infinite line here so that our radius or our, the center of our arc stays aligned such that it's equidistant between the two ribs and we'll constrain the center of our would-be circle to that. Bring back our painting and just keep pulling the radius out until the arc aligns with the contour. And now we have that. Now the leading edge is fully supported. So be just a straight line connecting the two points. And now we can create a sweep of the upper surface along the two guides. So guide curve one and guide curve two will be the leading edge and trailing edge curves with the profile being the upper airfoil profile. Click preview, that looks as it should. So we'll click OK. And we'll do the same for the lower surface. And that looks appropriate. We're going to thicken the surface now um, to two thousandths of an inch just to give it the appropriate thickness of the skin. We'll do the same thing for the lower surface. hide the original sweep so that way just the actual thick surface object appears. 
you know, hide the guide's blinds. And we'll apply a material. Put a plexiglass, drag it onto the surface. Now, uh, it'll apply it to the entire geometrical object, so that's why it applied to both surfaces at the same time. Now, to create another instance of this section of the skin, since it is dimensionally consistent with the adjacent section, we can just translate the surface. And there we did the top. Go through the bottom now. So click on the surface and the translate button and along the direction of the along the y direction. Now we'll need to create um, points on the outboard edge of this new section so that we can translate again like such. Okay, now we have those three sections. Now the next section will be a, a tapered section. We're going to create that edge and we'll add a point on each extremity. Connect the front with the line like we did the first time. And we'll just do a line on the back for now uh, for this section. And same thing, we'll, we'll create a multi-section surface this time just to show how it's done instead of a sweep. Preview. Okay. Now we also create a multi-section surface this time because of the taper. Sometimes it's easier than creating a sweep or it works out better.